the captain with goal number three on the year for him. That's point number six on the season. Uh, they make it a power play marker and see back door up the top snapshot. Well, that was Eric Lussie with the goal. That's his second of the year. And it's uh, great work here by Stewart to feed the first the sick of the Seagulls, I played with Shea Weber, Andrew Rabbit, Adrian Wiedemann. They all went on to play in the NHL and a couple other players I played with here were drafted by the NHL too. Played NCAA. When the for... kids start here, you have to remember we're just a stepping stone in their career. We try to develop to move on to Junior A, Western Hockey League, NHL, college, etc. We can't guarantee any players will ultimately reach that pinnacle we call the NHL. We do guarantee that we will help them become very well prepared to take that next step in their hockey career. Uh, it's a really good program. They got a good coaching staff. Um, all a good local coaching staff. They know, they know a lot of the kids in the local area and stuff, so it's good. And they like to bring a lot of exposure out to games. Um, they get scouts to come in and watch. And this year, there's a big showcase going on, so there's going to be a lot of scouts for a big weekend. And it's. Uh, yeah, it's just a great place to play, and the people are really good, the fans are really nice, it's awesome. Players also have the opportunity to be role models in our community. We're involved in the local minor hockey, helping out at practices and interacting with kids at social events. For many young kids, the Sycamore Eagles players are very well respected, so for that reason we expect players to lead by example and retain a higher standard of conduct. As we work with these young men, not only do we work on developing their strengths, but we also work on bringing the weakness of each player's game to be on par with their strengths. Through commitment and respect of the player-coach relationship, we are developing a more mature individual, a player who is mentally tougher, a more complete player, and an overall better athlete. We are building a team intent on success. Every young man representing our organization is expected to exercise dedication and accountability to our organization and their teammates. We try to foster an unselfish attitude and a team-first mentality. Our program provides an abundance of ice time. We have a 49-game schedule along with a minimum of three team practices every week. We also have open ice time every morning, allowing the opportunity to devote even more time for skill development. We have an off-ice program run by Trish Olson, who is our fitness trainer. She provides instruction on core strength training, injury prevention through stretching, as well as speed and agility training. The overall objective is to help the boys build and maintain strong muscles and increase their stamina for when they're on the ice. The boys can expect a 45 minute off ice workout three times a week. An average week consists of one day working the lower body using weights, one day working the upper body using weights, and one day a week is focused more on stretching or a lower intensity workout. The boys usually have two days a week off from both on ice and off ice activity to rest and recover. All players are absolutely expected to be self-motivated. They must take advantage and take ownership of their part in becoming the athlete they want to be. Hard work and practice, leadership in the community, every player needs to understand that all aspects of his time and actions play a part in his ultimate success. I cannot express enough the importance of hard work. If a player is willing to work and train hard, success is inevitable. 